Today there are a lot of updates from Crimea. Here Russian forces renewed their efforts to undermine the Ukrainian Grain Corridor in the Western Black Sea by taking advantage of their positions on drilling rigs and attacking a civilian cargo ship. Ukrainian commanders knew the importance of this move and decided to remove this danger by conducting an extensive amphibious operation to storm the Russian Sea strongholds. A series of successful strikes against the Russian Black Sea fleet has allowed Ukraine to secure the vital grain corridor through the Black Sea, crucial for economic recovery and global markets, particularly for countries in Africa and the Middle East. Despite this, Russian forces have targeted Ukrainian port and grain infrastructure in the Odessa region to disrupt exports. Ukrainian Prime Minister Denis Shmihal noted that 66 million tons of cargo have been shipped in 2024, nearing pre-invasion levels. To disrupt this, the Russian forces struck a civilian cargo ship transiting through the corridor in the Western Black Sea, likely in a new attempt to undermine international confidence in its safety. Ukrainian officials reported that a cruise missile strike was conducted by the Russians against a civilian cargo ship under the flag of a third country, transporting wheat to Egypt exactly when leaving Ukrainian territorial waters with preliminary data suggesting there were no casualties. The Romanian Coast Guard reported later that the Russian missile struck the ship while in Romania's maritime economic zone, which once again showcases the provocative nature of this act. Understanding the strategic significance of the Grain Corridor, Ukraine launched one of its largest amphibious operations, aiming to neutralize oil rig platforms that Russia had seized in 2014. Used as surveillance bases, they are crucial to Russian operations in the area. Ukrainian naval forces, alongside elements of the main military intelligence directorate, executed a bold assault on the Crimea II drilling rig, utilizing 14 Willard Seaforce inflatable speedboats. The operation's detailed footage, later released, reveals the boats advancing rapidly toward the platform. Just before reaching their target, Ukrainian forces deployed a swarm of drones to strike enemy positions, effectively suppressing the defender's ability to retaliate. A Russian soldier later confirmed in an angry video that over 30 drones were used in the attack, resulting in significant losses among his fellow soldiers. The footage further shows the boats closing in and unleashing a barrage from M2 Browning 12.7mm machine guns, followed by a series of powerful explosions on the platform. The Ukrainian forces then engaged in an intense firefight with the remaining Russian troops, demonstrating both tactical precision and overwhelming firepower in their assault. The full uncensored videos of all Ukrainian sea operations can be found on our Telegram channel through the link in the description. The Russian forces reacted swiftly to the surprise attack by dispatching several fighter jets, including Su-30 and Su-35, to intercept the Ukrainian boats and prevent them from seizing the target. During this engagement, the Russian jets launched several missiles, but the situation took an unexpected turn when one of the Su-30 aircraft abruptly disappeared from radar. Search and rescue operations were promptly initiated to locate the missing jet. Initially, the cause of the incident remained unclear, sparking various speculations in the Russian media. Some suggested the jet might have been downed by an F-16, while others considered the possibility of a technical malfunction or self-destruction. However, Russian military bloggers soon reported that the aircraft was shot down by Ukrainian forces using a manned portable air defense system. According to these reports, the missile was fired from one of the Ukrainian speedboats involved in the assault, showcasing the Ukrainians' capability to strike back even under challenging circumstances. The Ukrainian main military intelligence directorate quickly confirmed the event by releasing footage of the operation. The video first shows the oil rig platform with the Russian jet flying at low altitude, attempting to engage the Ukrainian forces at sea. It then captures a boat maneuvering into position, followed by the launch of an air defense missile. Moments later, the missile strikes the Russian aircraft, leading to its destruction. This precise and well-executed hit not only shielded the Ukrainian assault group from a serious aerial threat, but also dealt a significant blow to the Russian forces, resulting in the loss of an aircraft valued at approximately 50 million US dollars. 
This incident further highlights Ukraine's growing capability to counter Russian military assets effectively, demonstrating both tactical skill and the ability to impose substantial costs on the adversary. Overall, Ukraine's bold assault on another oil rig platform underscores the strategic importance of safeguarding the Grain Corridor in the Black Sea. By neutralizing enemy military positions and defending vital trade routes, Ukraine not only reinforces its economic resilience, but also contributes to global food security. The successful defense of the Sea Corridor sends a clear message about Ukraine's capability and resolve in the face of ongoing threats against its maritime assets and the flow of exports, which plays an essential role in its wartime economy. If you're against the invasion of Ukraine and you want to support the work that I am doing, consider making a purchase in the online store UA Supporter. Here you can find a lot of products with Ukrainian symbols to not only show your support for this channel, but also for Ukraine. The link to the online store is in the description. Thank you for watching this report and I will see you in the next one.